So you've finally launched your own business on Shopify, but now you aren't seeing nearly as many sales as you'd hoped for. Every day you're checking in and wondering, how do I get more orders? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to make some big profits, right? I'm your host, Kylie Marr, and in this video, I'm gonna help you make sure your Shopify store is in tip-top shape so it can perform at its highest level. But first, welcome to Learn with Shopify, where we make building a business feel a little less overwhelming by giving you simple and actionable advice that takes the guesswork out of starting and growing an online business. Each week, we bring you new videos with step-by-step -step coaching on everything you need to know to run a successful online business like how to use AI to help your business thrive, how to use social media marketing to make your business go viral, or how to start your own business with zero experience, and so much more. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below so you can get to learning with Shopify. Okay, back to today's agenda. Within the next few minutes, I will help you drive more sales to your Shopify page by increasing conversions, reducing bounce rates, and building brand credibility and loyalty. I will also show you how to use the Shopify Flow app to speed up your workflow. And if all that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. There are so many ways to get more orders on Shopify, but here are three of my favorite and most effective strategies to boost your orders on Shopify. Number one, improve user experience. Have you ever walked into a brick and mortar store that was so unbelievably disorganized and messy that it almost stressed you out? I mean, not gonna name names, but I think we all know what fast fashion store I'm talking about from like the late 2000s to the early 2010s. It's also like walking into someone's house. If it looks nice and it smells pretty, you're gonna wanna go inside and stay a while. On the flip side, if it looks like a teenage boy's bedroom, you're gonna wanna turn around and leave. That is what you need to think about in terms of the look and aesthetic of your Shopify storefront. It's all about first impressions, and the first impression you wanna have is that your store is clean and easy to navigate, while also being undeniably enticing because this is what leads to lower bounce rates and higher conversions, ultimately resulting in an increase in sales. So how do you create an aesthetically appealing page that keeps customers on it after that initial 20 seconds when they might decide to bail? First, you'll want to capture their attention immediately via a strong headline, high quality images, and clear call to actions in that very top portion of the page. This is what's called the hero section and is basically the prime real estate of your shop. It's the first thing any customer sees before they start to scroll and what gets them to scroll. In this hero section, you want it to be visually striking and you don't want too much text. That can be overwhelming for the customer and takes us back to that teenage boy's bedroom. Keep it clean and concise. Use only the most relevant images and videos to reinforce key points about your brand. And if you have no idea where to start and need some help with the design of your Shopify store, there is actually a Shopify theme store where you can find some of the best themes for your business with customizable templates already built out for you to help you put your brand in the best light and take advantage of some of Shopify's built-in features. In essence, it's a one-stop source for website templates for Shopify-powered stores. And some of the best Shopify themes are free. All you need is a Shopify plan to choose and install a free theme that's perfect for you. And to make it even easier, I'm going to drop a link below where you can check out the 18 best Shopify themes of the year. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but in this situation, that's exactly what we want. Next, focus on driving visitors to more pages on your website. By adding a more products like this or similar items carousel with other recommended products from your shop, this persuades the customer to click the next page, thus keeping them on your site even longer. So it's all about making it super easy for the customer by doing the legwork for them. Okay. So say your customer does leave your page before checking out. Let me give you some tips on how to get them to come back to your website and ultimately establish brand loyalty. It's a little thing I like to call incentives. 
and it works. Offer a first time discount or free shipping in exchange for their email address. All you have to do is download the Shopify Forms app, which will help you grow your contact list and convert new leads with Shopify's customizable Forms tool. With the Shopify Forms app, you can easily add a pop-up or overlay on your homepage, offering the discount or free leverage customer data all within a secure platform. And finally, let's talk the checkout process optimization. By reducing steps in the checkout process, offering multiple payment options, and implementing trust badges and security measures, you're more likely to get your customer to seal the deal. Again, this all goes back to the user experience and making it super easy for the customer to complete that purchase. Number two, add credibility to your store via customer reviews. If you head over to the Shopify app store at app.shopify.com and search review, you'll be able to browse all all the product review apps that you can add to your shop. Personally, I would choose one of the higher rated apps with lots of reviews of their own, and a lot of them offer a free trial and or plan. But also, see what I did there? I just told you to choose one of the options with the most reviews and highest rating because to me, that translates to credibility, customer trust, and product quality. This is exactly why I'm recommending you to add customer reviews to your Shopify store. Personally, when I'm shopping online, I always look at the product rating and read reviews because I wanna ensure that what I'm buying is legitimate and has a proven track record. Also, I buy a lot of clothes, so I also read the reviews to determine what size I want to order, and it's so helpful. By adding reviews, you are boosting credibility and buyer confidence, improving customer engagement, and most importantly, increasing sales. And many of the customer review apps also utilize AI, which auto emails your customers with review requests with pre-made templates. Currently, there are hundreds of different customer review apps on the Shopify app store. So if you want us to do a deeper dive into which review app is right for your Shopify store, let me know in the comments down below. Right about now, you might be wondering, how do I get customers to leave reviews though? Again, incentives. Try offering rewards in exchange for reviews, using social media to promote reviews, or running contests and giveaways. Speaking of social media, this is a great way to market your business. By sharing your top reviews in marketing campaigns on your social platforms, you're building even more brand trust and loyalty while also increasing your reach and potentially drawing in even more new customers. I know you know about all those shopping ads in our social feeds. Who else has fallen for it and bought something off Instagram and TikTok? No, just me. Number three, utilize the Shopify Flow app. What is Shopify Flow? Well, if you don't know, it's awesome. With Shopify Flow, you can customize your store and automate your tasks using a low-code editor, which ultimately will help you run your business more efficiently and we love efficiency. Shopify Flow makes it easy for you to create specialized workflows without needing to code. Think all of your apps connected and working together to help you complete more jobs and deal with certain challenges that you might be facing over here while you're over there spending more time focusing on growing your business. Here's how to do it. First, you're going to install the Shopify Flow app. And it is important to note that this app is only available to those who have the Shopify Advanced or the Shopify Plus plans. But if you do have those plans, Shopify Flow is free. The Shopify Flow app can do things like manage your inventory and hide products when you're out of stock. But what's really cool is that that's just the tip of the iceberg. After you log in, using your Shopify email and password, you'll be able to see a bunch of already created, commonly used templates. But you'll probably be most excited about the fact that you can use Flow to create custom workflows. Flow uses trigger, condition, and action building blocks in an easy to understand flow chart. A trigger is an event that happens within the store and starts the workflow. The condition is a rule that determines if an action should be taken, and the action is the task that's completed when the conditions are met. For example, Flow can automatically detect fraud, cancel the order, and restock the product, as well as send you an email notifying you of the potentially fraudulent order for your review. Cool, huh? Technology these days. And remember earlier when I was talking about conversions, offering rewards in return for customers' email addresses? Flow can automatically send out those emails and automate your review and loyalty program. 
So basically, Flow is like having a whole team of hidden employees. However, as a reminder, you do have to have a Shopify Plus or Shopify Advanced plan in order to take advantage of Shopify Flow. And if you've made it this far into the video, but you actually don't even have a Shopify account yet because you're still debating if it's for you, guess what? I'm gonna drop a link down below for you for a free trial. You're welcome. All right, Shopify fam, that's all I have for you today on how to get more orders on Shopify. Remember, we all started somewhere and even the biggest brands had to deal with low sales at first. The key is to keep learning, keep implementing, and keep hustling. So to recap, we talked about creating a visually appealing online storefront that doesn't scare customers away like a messy bedroom. And we also explored how to win over those indecisive shoppers and keep them hanging out in your house. And don't forget about collecting those stellar customer reviews in order to build your brand identity and loyalty. They're like social proof gold. And with the Shopify app store, you can easily add them to your site. Plus, if you're feeling overwhelmed with tasks, remember to check out Shopify Flow. It's basically like having a team of tiny Oompa Loompas working behind the scenes to automate everything for you so your life can be so much easier. These are some of my favorite ways to get more orders. So if you found any of these helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to learn with Shopify for more awesome e-commerce tips and tricks to get your business up and running and most importantly, thriving. And hey, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or want me to do an even deeper dive into anything we discussed today because we are building this Shopify community together. I'm Kylie Marr. Peace out.